Thank you, Commissioner Sankey. It's always a joy to be a, a member of the LSU Tigers. Uh, last year, we had a wonderful season that ended off with a 10-3 and three campaign led by our wonderful coaches and student athletes. We have to start talking about all of our head coaches here, beginning with Steve Inmansminger. Steve Inmansminger actually does my taxes. He got me a wonderful return last year, and he kind of scares me. Thank you, Steve, for all the wonderful work that you provided with me and my coaching staff. Next, Dave Aranda. Dave Aranda, his bald head makes him look like he might possibly be a cult leader. Thank you so much, Dave Veranda. Also, he makes more money than me. I actually took out a four-day loan from him. Thank you so much, Dave Veranda. Also, before I go any further, I want to thank Tommy Moffat. I'm going to tell you right now, I couldn't piss straight without Tommy Moffat. Thank you so much, Tommy Moffat, for all the things that you do. I appreciate it. Thank you, Tommy. Last year, we had Ohio State transfer Joe Burrows come in. He went from a nut to a tiger. Thank you so much, Joe, for all the things you've done. You know, Joe doesn't say much. In fact, he might be mute. I really hadn't had a doctor check him out. Hold on one second. Hey, I'm trying to do a press conference over here. I need y'all all to shut up. Thank you. I'm back. Joe, he came in from OSU. And, uh, you know, they got a wonderful program up there other than punching women in the mouth. He does a great job. I'm glad he's down here playing for us. He's no longer part of that program. In the offseason, we signed incredible running back John Emery. Thank you, John Emery, for joining us last year. We're going to do some great things. The majority of our offensive line will be showing up. I think we're going to do some great things. For the upcoming season, we're going to throw the ball. We're going to run the ball. We're going to throw the ball some more. And if we get sick and tired of throwing the ball, we're going to run the ball some more. Thank you so much to all our team members who's going to run and throw said ball. Um, our very first game is going to be against Georgia Southern. Now, the style of the offense they run is that triple option style. Now, that's a style that back when Adolf Hitler was still running things, it was still relevant. Now, I tell you how old said offense is, I believe we're gonna definitely going to stop it. Our next game is at Texas. Now, I know everybody thinks Texas is back, but I promise you that week that I will drop my drawers in the middle of Austin, Texas, and load a peanut-filled nuke turn right on top of Texas, and we will beat them. The very next week, we'll play Northwestern State. I think that's a community college comprised of a bunch of deaf kids. We'll definitely beat them. Next week, we'll play Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt has a wonderful medical school, but as we all know about nerds, they're absolutely horrible athletes. We will beat them. The next week, we will take a week off and go to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and have wonderful times buying second-hand T-shirts and eating all the fudge one man can eat. Week after that, we go to Utah State. We're going to play what is the rejected Mormons of Utah State. Now, you must remember about Mormons, the most of them is married with 14 kids, and they ride bicycles everywhere they go. We will beat them. The next week, we'll be, we will play Florida. Now, I know we have a very rich history of Florida. I know that everybody thinks Florida is back. But as God is my witness, I will drop a dookie fell turd all over Florida, and we will beat Florida. The very next week, we'll play at Mississippi State. Now, I'll tell you right now, if I had to choose between going to Mississippi State or going to hell and hanging out with the Prince of Darkness, between you and I, I really don't know what I'd do. Because Mississippi State is the brink of hell. But I truly believe that we will beat them as they've lost most of their productive offense. Very next week, we'll play Auburn. Auburn has been very good at recruiting tons of talent, yet pissing away like they're throwing away trash in the backyard. We will beat Florida, and we will beat Auburn. Very next week, we're off. The week after that, we'll play Alabama. That's when Nick 
Sermon will take the shoe and break it off in my butthole and beat us by more points than I'd like to mentally admit. Week after that, we'll play at Mississippi. You know, even for them to be good that one year, they had to cheat and offer hookers to their players to make them come down there and play in Oxford. We will beat Mississippi. Week after that, we'll play Ox Arkansas. Arkansas sucks. I'm telling you right now, there's rest areas I'd rather hang out in than go hang out in Arkansas. We will beat Arkansas. And the week after that, we'll play Texas a and &M. Now, last year, we ran up between the two of us 146 points between 17 overtime. This year, I predict I will beat them. We will beat Texas A&M. But for most of you, you're sitting up there asking me, how will you do this season? So in my moments of sitting on the john until my legs fell asleep, that's when I realized it's time to get up because my legs fell asleep on the toilet, I wrote this song to answer your questions. Give me a song and I'll sing this tune. I'm busy, and I'm ready to rock your world. I'm busy, and I'm ready to rock your world. Nobody in the country can understand the word I say, but meet me and my team. We'll meet you anywhere, any day. I'm busy. And I'm ready to rock your world. And the girls sing, ooh, 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 ooh. And the children sing, ooh, 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 ooh. And everybody sing, ooh, 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 ooh. I'm big and I'm ready. So if you ask me how I think we're going to do this season, that's definitely how I feel. Thank you so much. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers.